Flores to paint it up with Hello all over Al is back for another video and welcome to another Santo Ecclesiastical project but first make sure hit like click subscribe and click on the bell so you get notifications for whenever we release a new YouTube video we're on Facebook at the Young Prince Gallery so make sure hit that like and see first Follow us on Instagram at Al Undercores Indiana. Well, today, guys, I'm going to share with you this very traditional Virgen de las Flores coming from Santa Cruz, Manila. So, when we say a traditional Virgen, no? It's, it's more likely bilugan yung mukha, parang oval, na parang gawang paete or gawang pampanga. So we're going to transform this image into a Spanish-inspired Virgen de las Flores. Pero bago yun, tingnan muna natin ang itsura ng Virgen natin. So eto na yung Virgen de las Flores natin guys. So kung titingnan yung medyo haba yung mukha na ito, no? Obviously, meron siyang problema sa, sa chin. So this is a very traditional Filipino works no? na parang gawang paete or pampanga, I'm not sure. But we're going to transform this. And to achieve guys this kind of Spanish inspired verhe, kailangan natin dito yung madugong recarving and repainting. And the whole process of this recarving, eto yun. So to start, no, tinanggal ko na yung gumanyang mata, tapos talagyan muna natin siya ng opos. Again, I decided to make um, her eyes just straight as possible. No, yung nakahatingin lang sa harap. So, kailangan muna natin takpan para maayos natin. So, while pinapatuloy natin yung masili, nagsusukat ako no, ng tamang proportion para sa mukha na ito. At bubuhitan ko naman kung ano yung mga kailangang bawasan. To make sure, kailangan kong lagyan ng center muna. No, para maging maayos. Using the compass, kailangan din natin masakto kung saan yung curve of the brows and the curves of her eyes. So, ngayon naman, we're shaping up her eyes so that we can proceed in the carving. So, the very first is bawasan natin yung kanyang chin and also the forehead because it's a little higher no mas maganda kasi pag medyo flat and now the neck kasi medyo mataba masyado yung kanyang leeg and lalagyan natin siya ng lipid sa kanyang leeg so kailangan natin upgrading yan and we binawasan ko pa yung ilong niya kasi hindi naman sa masyadong mataas but i just don't like the shape of the nose so ayan binabawasan ko na ngayon yung leeg niya to make it more defined now, because this is a very Spanish um, style to have that knitted on her neck. Ngayon, pinabawasan ko ulit yung ilong kasi mala medyo malapad yung nose bridge niya. Ayan. And also the lips. Naisin natin yung lips. Ngayon naman, lilihahin natin yung gamit ko ngayon. Yung liha ay number 36 and we're going to follow that with number 80 and 150. So behind this scene, no, na inayos pa natin siya, nag-recarb pa tayo at ngayon naman ay nilalagay na tayo ng gesso. Ayan, so kailangan natin yung gesso para maging makinis yung ating imahe. So this is going to be the very base of the image, no, para matakpan lahat ng tao eh. After this, uh, kikinis natin natin siya ulit. Lihahin natin gamit yung 150 at number 360 na lihat. So, ito na siya ngayon. At ito naman siya nung naka-primer na. Diba? Ang layo agad ng difference. And now, here she is, guys. She is ready for the Intarna. The facial structures are now so Spanish. Let's paint it up. Now, we're going to paint it up with the very first layer of our oil paint. So, ito, pinakauna niyang layer. We're going to have two or three bago tayo mag-contour. 
Instagram. In the second layer, we're going to put a little blush on her and a little depth and highlights. This is the third and the final layer of our paint. So, dito na tayo maglalagay ng final blushes, highlights, um, shade, shadows, and details sa ating imahe. So, kung makikita nyo, naglalagay muna ako ngayon ng highlights using our titanium white. Then, kasunod na ito, we're going to put blush on her cheeks and chin, including the nose, the eyes, and the neck. Hanggang sa likod, and we're also going to blush it up. Kasama na yung color bone, tsaka yung lipid niya sa leg. And this is her after the incarna. Just what like I imagined her before the recarving. Ang ganda. And after all of the recarving and repainting, guys, eto na yung itsura ng birhen natin. Tingnan natin. Now, take a look this birhen de las flores, guys. Napakaganda na niya, hindi ba? I can feel the Spanish aura on her. Napakaganda. Ang layo niya sa dati. Di ba? At ito na yung Virgen de las Flores natin guys. Um, she's ready to be shipped out today. Nilagyan ko na ng karton at ito na rin yung kamay niya. Napakaganda talaga na ito. Oh, lalagyan ko na lang siya ng bubble wrap. Ay anyway, look at this. Uh, tingnan nyo to. Ito ay Dormition de la Virgen. Tabletop to. Nasa 19 inches yung taas. Gusto nyo bang i-reproduce ko? Comment nyo nga sa iba ba or I'll keep it na lang. Anyway, going back, ang ganda talaga na ito. Sana magustuhan siya ng may-ari. Excited ako pag nakita siyang merong beat. And that's all for today, guys. I hope you like this video. And if you like more of this kind of content, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga bago nating YouTube video. That's all for today, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye!